December 2013, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Bank of Industry to create a facility of 4.3 billion naira to support master bakers, small and medium enterprises and large-scale industrial cassava flour mills. At the signing ceremony, the minister outlined how the fund is going to be utilized. A total of 1.05 billion naira will be used by the Bank of Industry to upgrade the capacity of 35 existing small-scale flour mills. This support will be provided as 50% loan as as 50% grant. The Bank of Industry will provide working capital to the tune of 425 million naira as loans to the SME cassava flour processors and I must say, a single-digit interest rate. The facility will provide the sum of 468 million naira, also as working capital loans, again at single-digit interest rate to medium and large-scale cassava flour millers. The most significant part of the facility will be for the master bakers and the industrial bakers. The facility will provide the sum of 2.2 billion naira, 2.2 billion naira, to support the master bakers and the industrial bakers, and this will be provided as 50% loans and 50% grants. The reason is to support them to acquire new machinery and equipment. A few months down the line, about 212 beneficiaries from the master bakers to cassava flour processors have been supported with the fund by the Bank of Industry. We're delighted to, to have been instrumental in bringing to life the uh, cassava bread initiative of the Federal Ministry of um, uh, Agri and Rural Development. And um, within a couple of months, we we're able to process all the loan requests you know, from the beneficiaries. And there are quite a few of them. Uh, and we're glad that uh, uh, we, we are now at a stage where the plants, you know, are being commissioned by the minister and uh, very soon the cassava bread initiative uh, in terms of actually producing the cassava flour, you know, will become reality. And at Ayede Kiti in Ekiti State, one of the beneficiaries of the fund, Omsal Nigeria Limited, commissioned its newly installed flash dryer equipment for cassava processing. I welcome all our guests to Bonsa Nigeria Limited, Aide Kitty, which is now in the world map of AQCF production. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are glad and rejoice in it. Today marks the day a little mustard seed of desire, sown sometimes in the late 80s as an undergraduate of University of Ibadan student and is now a big tree. Then I desired using our technology to produce crop at industrial level to solve food problems. This instinct eventually drove me to follow an information received through the news media sometimes in 2006 from our then president, Tunisia Obasanjo, regarding the economic value of cassava via inclusion in production of bread. This prompted me to visit the State Minister of Agriculture then for land to cultivate cassava when I was still in the banking industry as the branch manager of one of the banks in town. Here is the result of the investment with massive sacrifice by my immediate family, taking all the pains now to get the gain soon to God be all the glory. Permit me at this junction to especially appreciate the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Kumbot Ebele Jonathan, for his agricultural transformation agenda. This culminated into appointment of this gift to our fatherland by our farmer loving minister, who had vowed to ensure that farmers in Nigeria do not go cap in hand that none of our farmers will go back without something to eat. It will interest you to know that in Oyo State now, farmers are now riding jeeps. It's confirmed. So what we are seeing today 
is a commitment by someone that is targeted towards adding value to us. The minister led all the dignitaries to commission the new equipment as well as a tour of the factory floor. What you are seeing here is being replicated in 20 different places soon. And I want to really say that I'm very proud of you, Novex, for what you've done in making this happen. I want to also show my appreciation for Nigeria's local bank, Bank of Industry, for the excellent work they've done in making sure that this actually came to pass. Congratulations to you. But more than anybody else is the entrepreneur himself, Pastor Femi Salami. I congratulate you on behalf of the president. I congratulate you for your vision, for your commitment, for your passion, dedication to seeing this truth. And I know that you're here with your young, uh, young son. It is my prayer that this factory will grow from strength to strength. It's my prayer that you will go also from wealth to wealth. It's my prayer that those that work here, there will not be any calamities or challenges for anyone. That everything that is produced here, that moves out of here, will be good product, safe product for this community and for those that are eating it beyond. Right from here, I know that the bread, cassava bread, is going to take off because of what I see here in the AKT state. And therefore, on behalf of His Excellency the President, President Good Luck, Emily Jonathan, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who made available the Cassava Bread Fund to make this happen, I dedicate this particular meal to the glory of God and for the benefit of Nigerians and all mankind. God bless you all. Congratulations. Mr. President's support is a support for the value chain from the farm up to the table. So all in all, the cassava work is working. Now what does this mean for us? It means we are turning cassava away from being just that crop into a crop that makes money. Nigerian farmers should not be poor. There's no reason why they should be poor. Nigerian farmers should be rich. For them to be rich, we have to add value to everything that we produce. So Mr. President continues to push the agricultural transformation agenda to add value. And for the cassava flour in particular, it means that if we are able to reach the industry level at 20% substitution for wheat, we'll be saving ourselves over 200 billion naira every year that will be in the hands of our farmers, processors, and local communities. Speaking with the Wealth Creation crew, the promoter highlighted some of the benefits the equipment has brought to his business. Our existing capacity of 4.5 is now additional 3 tons has been added to it to make it 7.5. That's what we do. And over time, that had increased the number of workforce with us, you know, from about 20, we are now moving to about 30 per day, apart from about 50, you know, pillars on a daily basis. And also, rural poor that we are taking cassava, but that's improved cassava, you know, you know, takings from the farm. The problem had always been, where do we sell our cassava to? But with this new initiative, it has increased our, you know, our takings from the farm, which means farms that we take about, you know, on a daily basis, close to 12 tons of cassava from, it has now been doubled, you know, which means more, you know, more families have been added value to, more income to the rural poor, you know, by large is increasing the value, the entire value chain. The managing director of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, is optimistic of the prospect of OMSA. The prospects are very bright. This particular company, OMSA, uh, is going along the value chain. Uh, right now, they operate a cassava farm, uh, which is about 110 hectares of cassava farm. And so what they're trying to do is to rather than just harvest cassava and you know have it rust in the in the farm they want to process to cassava flour uh, and that is the essence of the, the the plan that has been commissioned the fabricator of the equipment nobex technology a locally based fabricating company commended bui for their support back of it is financing the project and we have reason with them they've been able to encourage us by giving us almost 90 uh, percent 
to fabricate the machine. So we don't have any stress of uh, finance to do what we are doing. So in terms of acquiring our materials, uh, even tools to do our work. Right now, the right staff, uh, we have close to about uh, 40. And we have uh, the people that will call when we have job at time, the contractor, we have close to almost 20. And we have about three companies that will outsource materials for. But this is not the first job. Uh, in 2007, they financed a project in Akura, which is a flash dryer, uh, to a company called McMarkin. It is a double cyclone flash dryer. And the flash dryer they are still using up to date. So that's our first job of doing the BY. Uh, you know, because of the, 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 the quantity of the job given to us, and if primarily they gave us 20 flash dryers to fabricate. And uh, the first batch is 10, you know, they gave us almost 90%. And even the second part, they're giving us about 50%, and telling us by next week they're going to give us another 40%. So it has really improved our, you know, our, our system and you know, enhanced our staff. Clearly, it's, it's a significant um, advantage, uh, the fact that we're able to uh, appoint suppliers of the equipment locally uh, you know, to, to provide the, the, the equipment to the to beneficiaries of the loan. Um, it's, it, it saves us, you know, a foreign exchange, and uh, it also empowers our people. Um, you know, these suppliers of the equipment that are local, we employ obviously local fabricators. You know, and this is also job creation uh, that we're doing. On how he was able to assess the facility from BOI, Mr. Salami has this to say: It's been wonderful. BOI have their own structure. You need to follow the you know, checklist. You know, if you are not seeing the UI checklist, you need to follow it. Once you follow the checklist, every other thing is okay. You all need to do is be a member of an, I mean, uh, National Cassava Processor and Marketers Association. Once you are done that, you submit your application through Cassava Process to be sure that you belong to an association in Nigeria. And then those are the, they are the ones that will now route your application to the head office in Lagos. The BORMD, however, advised Nigerian youth to take a clue from the promoter of OMSO. Uh, for the sake of uh, young Nigerians who may be watching this program, I would like to say that Mr. Salami, who is the MD of that company, is somebody who has a bachelor's degree in uh, microbiology, a master's degree in banking and finance, has a banking experience, commercial banking experience of 15 years, but he decided that it was time to go back and, and really uh, do something that uh, he has a passion for. And, and so I want to encourage our youth you know, to, uh, to consider agro-processing as a business, you know, a business that gives them a lot of opportunities you know, for wealth creation and for engaging themselves.